Let's move on and talk about fields filtering. This is a very useful MongoDB feature and sadly many developers simply don't use it. Let's talk about it. Suppose that you have such kind of documents in the MongoDB database. They have some fields, some nested documents, nested documents may have nested documents and so on. In many cases each document may become really large. And when you perform read operations, this document must be sent from MongoDB server to MongoDB client. But let's suppose you don't need all those fields in the document. You just need two or three fields to perform needed operations. And you just need document like this. You just need subset of the fields included in the main document that is located in Mongo database. There are two solutions to get this document, small document. First solution is to get full document from MongoDB server and load it to the client and then perform field filtering on the client. In this case, you will waste server resources, you will waste bandwidth and latency will be increased. Second option is to filter fields on the server before sending documents to the client. Of course, second option is more preferable because client gets just what it needs, only those fields that it needs. And secondly, you save bandwidth and decrease total delay. In this section, we will not talk about client-side fields filtering. We will just focus on server-side filtering. Ok, let's look at the examples. In all examples, we use find method, but find one method can be used as well. You see that in arguments list, we pass to the find method first argument that is a query object and second argument that is a field filtering object. And this object contains key value pairs, where key is a field name and value is just one or zero. If you specify one, then this field will be included in the resulting document. If you specify zero, field will be omitted. Underscore ID is always sent in the documents, unless you specify underscore ID zero. Let's look at the examples one by one. In the first example, we want to include just name and age fields and underscore ID will be included by default. So you will get documents with three fields inside of each. In the second example, you will send company.location. So it is a nested field. And age, underscore ID will be sent as well. In the third example, we omit underscore ID from results and include name and age. In practice, underscore ID is not omitted, because each document that is sent from the server to the client should have unique identifier. What if document has many fields and you want to omit just couple of them? In this case, you must specify those fields with zero values, and all other fields will be sent from server to the client. Let's practice this. Open up person's collection and default find operation will be executed. All documents will match and in each document we will see all possible field names that are stored in the document on the server. Let's filter fields of those documents. So I will leave default query, then comma. Let me move find to the next line. And after comma here, just put an object with key value pairs, where key is a field name and value is 1 or 0. Ok, let's include name, then age and eye color. So three ones. And let's execute this, command enter. And now you see 
just small documents with four fields inside of each. And you see that underscore ID is included, but I have not specified it here. So underscore ID is included by default. Let's add one more field here. And it will be company. Company 1 and execute it. Now you get company field. Remember that company is a nested document. What if you want to get just company location? Let's change company to company location. In this case, I need to add quotes because I use dot notation. Company dot location and execute it. Now I get just company location. Ok, let's remove company location and let's add underscore id 0, command enter. Now I get documents without underscore id. Usually such kind of operation is not needed and underscore id should be always present in the resulting documents. Ok, let's delete underscore id and eye color. And for name and age, let's change values from 1 to 0. And execute this. Now you get objects with all fields except name and age. So no name and age here. Let's check whether fields filtering works with find1 method or not. Just add one here and execute. And yes, it works. Let's change name 0 to name 1 and age 1 and execute again. And here is the result, just one document. Let's summarize. Fields filtering is also called projection. It means that you take large document and project it into the small document. And I strongly recommend you to use this technique wherever possible. In the next section we will talk about regex operator. See you.